guys, so today I'm reacting to that time I was reincarnated as a slime. Episode 13 and 14 of season two, or episode, I think it's 37 and 38. Um, so here we are. That ending caught me so off guard. Oh my gosh, we already had Rimuru become the demon lord, but then we <laughs> I just can't get over it. Veldora's transformation. And I'm sorry if I say, I don't know why when I say Veldora, I like have a roll in my R or something. I don't know. I tried to just say Veldora, but see, never mind. Doing it again. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if that's correct. Whatever. I say it the way I want to. But I was shocked and I really shouldn't have been because I'm actually surprised. I didn't even think that we were going to get a human form of Veldora. I really didn't. And considering the fact that, you know, even the lizard, like the girl, we've been getting glow ups from characters that Rumoru is named. I should have suspected Veldora would have been one of them, but I am very pleasantly surprised. Like, damn, the Duke coming in strong. Now there was a lot to go over, which I kind of discussed in my last reaction. Now going off of some of my previous comments, some people were like, oh, you didn't realize that the Red Eyes, Great Sage, and I'm pretty sure I discussed that after I watched, I think it was, what was it, 12, episode 12, um, that it was the Great Sage Raphael, Raphael, you know, I went back and listened to it because some people were like, you're saying it wrong, but like, they say Raphael, right? Um, at least that's what I gathered Rimuru, well, actually, Raphael themselves saying that, but yeah, I was like, kind of excited because I thought the red eyes looked really cool with Rimuru's character design, but you know, it's okay, it's okay. Whew, man, okay. Now I haven't watched any shows in the past like five days. I was gone with my family. I mentioned that on Patreon, so I've been waiting. But anyways, before I get started with this reaction, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my patrons, King of the Pirates and Above Tier. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, not only on Patreon, but also on YouTube. When you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it truly means the world to me. Again, a huge thank you to you guys. You guys are amazing. Okay, so I know a lot of people have been asking me when slime really gets uploaded, and I think my schedule, I've been at least trying to follow this one with Wednesday and Thursday, because I am, I think I'm getting kind of near the end. So I'll post it on Wednesday and Thursday. I like doing them back to back. Anyways, I'm just excited. I want to see Veldora, Chad Veldora, Chad Veldora. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, I always loved Veldora as a dragon, so not like that, but like his personality, okay? Now I think I'm gonna like really love him. So I cannot wait to see more of this Veldora. Yes. <laughs> um, damn, I'm so excited. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into this reaction slime. Let's go slime. Oh, uh, we are started. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> What an entrance, though. Like, I can't wait to see Rimuru's reaction to this. Old dude! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him! <laughs> Whoa. Now I can see what he was doing with all that time in there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> be like, found it. Aww. I love this. I love it so much. I love his smile. It's so freaking precious. <laughs> ah, I love him. He's so cute. I love his outrageous personality. Like, so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I guess that really makes sense, you know? with Valdora and how he's acting because he, he's definitely giving off that like main character manga just like 
outgoing, outspoken type of energy. And, like, his look, too. He kind of has a, like, superhero look, kind of. I wouldn't really say, like, superhero, but, like, you know what I mean? I don't know, but that that makes sense with everything that's going on. But he's, like, shooting the little lasers. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just, like, in love with this guy already. And it's been, like, what, two seconds? He's just, like, shown himself, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's like so perfect. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, enough gushing. Let's continue. <laughs> Boo. I always just like always around. Oh my gosh, he will be. I guess he's free, so of course. Take it in, dude. <laughs> gosh, he's such a chat. I love his voice actor, like. Oh. Okay. Where he like read some Dragon Ball Z? Was he going Super Saiyan? Oh. L it looks like he's going Super Saiyan right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, so perfect. <laughs> They're gonna be like, who the heck is that? Oh, look at him, face flashing. <laughs> doing right there just like fixing his hair oh my gosh this is freaking everything uh. <laughs> are they gonna like be like oh damn there we go <laughs> i'm like Buzz and buddy? <laughs> oh, he's so refreshed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna start choking on his own laugh there. <laughs> oh. Man, this is great. This makes me so happy. <laughs> Hopefully, something like that doesn't happen again. I know I was always like, darkness, like, come on, let's make it a little darker. I regret that. <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> they have to eat it. She just looks so innocent, and then that reminds me of Luffy's cooking, to be honest. Does she not realize that she, like, just really sucks at cooking? Many <laughs> Maru is just like. Is it what? Umai. <laughs> Why does it look so foul then? Cooking? Wow. Why does it look so bad then? Huh? <laughs> But like, it tastes good, but you could still undercook something, and that could be bad, right? Yeah, it does. It really does. <laughs> and now he's like the butler dude. Aww. They're just in the background like, yeah! Okay. Look at them. Still all the same. But is it time though? 
Let's hope this works. <laughs> I'm like, they're okay now. I'm like, he's way late to this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. He's like, I'm coming in to help, but it's like... Uh... <laughs> oh boy. Well then. Welcome back, Gazelle. I guess that would make sense. Like, you don't need all the details all the time. But I almost feel like that could be, like, something bad's gonna happen in the future and, like, he won't get all the information. <laughs> oh, no, what? See? Again, like... <laughs> yeah. And it happens, like, right away. <laughs> Oh, the name! Whoa! Oh my gosh, oh no! <laughs> and boink! So, he's her dad. Oh, man. Look at that. I'm like, probably not. Everyone's joining this meeting. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good to have all these people with you, you know? It's important. In case you make the wrong moves. You know, what was it? The guy looked like he was doing some Naruto moves. The father? I was expecting, like, a fireball jutsu or whatever. I watched a lot of Naruto and dubs, so I don't know if it was called something else in the sub, but... I feel like we were getting a lot of like different anime references, but okay, so if I'm getting this correct, I think we are still in season two. Already loving it. Again, Veldora just like has my heart right now. I love Benimaru as well, but Veldora's energy just gets me. <laughs> um, but I do feel like, you know, this is pretty important having this meeting, but also having it with other people like we have Gazelle, and I can't remember the father's name, the father's name. But I feel like it is important, you know, to have Gazelle and also Aaron's father, which, you know, the dude came in very strong, and just what he was saying. At first I was like, wait, was he talking about the elf girls? But no. Okay. So, uh, it seems like next episode will be very... It probably won't be, like, super crazy i feel like we'll get a lot of information and planning which you know is always good to have those in between so i feel like the past episodes have been really dark really depressing and now we have to go through the rebuilding phase and figuring out what to do moving forward and also you know rimuru announcing to the world that he's a demon lord it could have its consequences for sure being targeted I feel like you'd want to like rebuild yourself a little bit more first but then again it's kind of like a power statement also because he was just attacked like his nation almost got wiped out so could go either way but anyways i'm excited so let's continue on let's go okay that's a different turn than i thought we were gonna get and he's gone okay
You just get yeeted? My gosh. Okay. Wait a second. That's the guy from the school? He's the one that got all the manga from Remaru! What the heck? So what? Now there's all this like she's just making fun of the luck Valentine。Honestly, I feel like it's definitely a thing you could believe to happen. Because you gain the trust of people, even if you despise them. You know, I mean. This is insane. What's that squishy one gonna do? Oh my gosh. All of this, like, planning behind the scenes, though. Oh man. I feel like we're gonna get another incident where things just blow up in Rimuru's face again. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Is he gonna be chill? Oh. Oh. He looks good! <laughs> he looks so dashing. Be <laughs> like, what is going on? No, he's so scared. Who's the voice for him? It just... It sounds familiar. It's like, he's not. <laughs> Everything just, like, went wrong. It's okay. But he's a good boy. I don't think Valdora would ever really go against Rimmer, though. When you want to have the information Because wasn't that the point for even freeing him, you know, to have that protection? Yeah, I mean, good point there. Oh. Uh. Oh I mean, okay. Didn't think about it that way. Good job. あれ、言っ
とんでもない強敵だったよ。来るものと同じだと証言しておこう。I wonder what Remaru is gonna think when he finds out about the other guy, though. Like, was it y Yuki? What was that other guy's name? Yuki? Oh. She is. <laughs> that laugh! Oh my gosh, are they gonna start fighting? Oh. <laughs> Who's he getting ready to? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> him. It's him. Oh, is he going to go back? Get cracking. Oh my gosh. It didn't happen like the entire episode, and now we're getting to it. Is it going to get cancelled again? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, please say it's not bad news. Oh. Oh, great. Oh my gosh. Just more bad news. <laughs> okay, there was a lot that happened in this episode. Whew. You know what? With Yuki... I didn't really think he was the type to scheme and backstab, but you know, with what Hinata was saying about Shizu and it made Rumoru seem like this sort of monster, I should have put it back to that one dude, but I had no idea like he was capable of that. But now, okay, I feel like unless you are Aizen levels of like a mastermind, can this guy really pull it off? Can he really pull it off? Because now with Rimuru suspecting him, I feel like we're gonna have Rimuru meet with him. Whether or not Rimuru pretends like he's not suspecting him, maybe going in, I almost feel like that would be the smart approach. You go in, you pretend like you're not suspecting anything of Yuki, but then again, he could be like one step ahead of Rimuru. So I am wondering how long he can actually play like this behind the scenes scheming type thing before it blows up in his face. I honestly feel like it's not gonna work for that long, but who knows, maybe it will, <laughs> maybe it will. But all I can say is, wow, both of these episodes just flew by so fast. Like I want more. <sighs> and Valdora being like the star of the show right now, to me at least. <laughs> his character is just a breath of fresh air. He's so silly and just, Ugh, love him. I keep gushing over him, you know? And then I feel like a lot of people will be like, oh my gosh, here we go. But he did look great in his outfit, and I love how he's just like reading manga. I think he will probably be that character for sure to make like the huge manga references. I mean, he already did. I'm pretty sure that was a Super Saiyan reference in the previous episode when he was trying to just like control his power, not just like have it go boom everywhere. But. <laughs> Finding out that Tempest is like doomed to fail, either we're gonna go in a direction, he's trying to rebuild it right now, but it seems like he's finding out everything that can kind of keep it from, you know, succeeding. And we have this alliance with demon lords, which, and they were kind of talking about when they were talking with Yuki that, you know, what's this guy gonna do? There's already three of them. So, <sighs> I feel like he's just excited to see like Rimuru fall apart. It's so messed up though, it's like, Will we really find out what his agenda is? Like, what is he really after? Because I feel like definitely right now with what he's doing, Yuki, with what Yuki is doing, it just has me like, why bro, why? But we're gonna have to see. Anyways, great episodes of Slime, fantastic. Love it, and I'm so excited for more. But anyways, there you guys go. That was my reaction to Slime. If you like this video, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome slime content and other anime things. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay fresh and bye.